Hello all, welcome to IQ Pop. In this lecture, I will discuss about variable constants and literals in C. So, what are variables and constants? Most important concept for programming solving using computers. All variables and temporary results are stored in terms of variable and constant during the execution of program. Now the value of a variable can be changed. So this is the reason it is called variable int rate. So here rate is a variable and an integer type. Now value of constant cannot be changed. So we declare it like this const int rate. So const is a keyword to define an integer as constant. So they all resides in the main memory or RAM during the program execution. Now, literal variable with fixed value in the code are known as literal. x equal to 546 is a literal here. So, x is literal here. So, there is a different kind of literals like integer, integer literal a int x equal to some number. So, here x is integer literal. Floating point literals. So float y equal to some 35 point some num 845. So here y is floating point literal. Boolean literal. Bool b equal to true. So Boolean values can be true or false. Here b is Boolean type of literal. Char character literal. Char ch equal to y. So ch is character lit literal here. That is in the same way string literals. So in our later lecture we will discuss about whether this float bool care and uh, some array is here, all these things in detail. And three phases of a variable. So when we are going to work with variables, so these three things we must keep in mind always. Before using a variable or assigning some value to a variable, we must declare it like int x I have done here in the first line. Once we have declared it, then we can assign some value to the variable. And once it is assigned some value, we can use the variables for some arithmetic or any other kind of operation like I have done here, y equal to x plus b. So x is used here for arithmetic operation. Now, all these variables and uh, constants, uh, uh, literal, whatever it is going to be, reside in the memory. So, in computer, uh, the memory is going to be uh, assumed like that. It is a endless, single dimensional uh, storage locations. So, variables are like a house. So, as uh, you can see in the image, this house has some address. So if it is having a unique address, then only it is going to be identified by anyone uniquely. In the same way, if there is a house, so there will be some resident in the house, which is, you can say, content of that house. Or here, if the house is the variable, the resident is the value. Now here the concept of memory can be seen in, you can see this tape kind of uh, uh, linear locations are uh, what memory is treated in programming. So each location is having a unique address. So I have started here, here with arbitrary numbers a thousand, a thousand, thousand to one. So every locations I have assumed like eight bit. So it, it is changing by one, means it is changing by one byte. Now say we are declaring int pa equal to 2000. So pa is the variable name. So when we declare this in the memory, some memory space are going to be reserved for that pa or assigned for the pa, which is you can say house of the variable. And it, has, it is going to have a unique address, so here you can say 1002, this is the address, a starting address 
of this variable and what is the resident of the house is 2000 or the value so now here I have assigned two bytes for uh, integer but in some computers it may be four bytes so you can check it using size of function identifier so any name of variables function constant are going are known as identifiers so there is some some thumb rules in C to define identifiers as they are their names right so it may cons consist of letters digits underscore character and there should not be any white space in between first character maybe later on some underscore an identifier can be arbitrarily long but in some C compiler only mm, first 16 or 31 characters are going to be treated as uh, identifier they are case, case sensitive area here you can see in small or area in capital are different you know that there is 32 keywords in C where the list of these 32 keywords now valid and invalid identifiers only S yes it is a valid identifier name but it is a poor one why because only S does not carry any information about what this identifier is but if you write roll underscore number so by looking at this we can understand that it is a real number so it is a good one but if you write underscore student underscore name that is also valid but unnecessary we have added this underscore at the beginning of identifier underscore boolean we can't use it because boolean is already a system id for boolean int underscore mean system defined value so we can't use it now some invalid name say dollar s it can't be a <coughs> um, identifier because identifier can't start with dollar to roll underscore number it can be a identifier because it can't start with a digit student dash name again it can be a identifier because dash is a special character it can't be part of identifier student and space name again that is invalid because space is not allowed in the identifier name int keyword so only int is not allowed as a variable name or identifier as it is a predefined keyword in C types of variables so there is local variable there is global variable and formal parameters so local variables are having scope inside the blocks where it is declared global variable have scope throughout the file formal parameters are having scope only inside the function or inside the um, curly brackets there is another kind of scope called function prototype scope when we define or when we write prototype of function at that time we can uh, declare some variable in the prototype so these uh, variables are having scope only at the place of prototype itself now tokens so anything or any small part of C program is known as token it may be some predefined uh, literal or keyword it may be some constant it may be identifier it may be string special symbol or operator anything thank you for watching like share and subscribe